you. But follow the. Um, you can follow the steps because I had no problem to follow the first, uh, the first part about um, about agent resource types. Yeah. Browsing here. Um, yeah, I want to see it. I want somebody to share their screen here so we can. Uh, so we can all. Yeah, I'm uh, trying. Okay, there we go. Oops. No, this is wait. This is my this is my email. <laughs> That's an email. Yeah, I, uh, uh, That's uh, your email, yeah. So it's the other page actually. That I need to. Yeah. It's the. Uh, all right, this one. Okay. So. Yeah. Okay. So. So. Um. Yeah. If you look, oh. Okay. <laughs> uh, so, if you look on the right, there is a series of filters. Right. By yeah, agent so, and yeah, by and resource see, type. Yeah. And there, there might even be more, but those are, there might be by category down below. But so you can, you can select somebody and you can see what we've got in the system for them. Yeah, so I click on Tactus, I see a, a list of resource types yeah. with, with a score. Which I yep. guess is proportional to the hours logged. Yes. Yes, it is. It is. It is now proportional. To, proportional. It. It is. It is. A, it is. It's just adding up the hours logged at mm -hmm. this point. Uh, okay. I mean, we can put other factors into that score in the future if you want. Right. You know, we could right. say uh, we could add the quality in there. You know. Right. All the factors we have in the value equation. Uh, we could do that. We could do that. So, so okay. Role was replaced. Role was replaced with agent resource type, which you call work done. How, what was the? Uh, I'm trying to document this. Um, all right. Type of work. Okay, so type of work is a resource type associated with agents, right? Yeah, there are a variety of types of work. You know, the, 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 there are actually a bunch of resource types, but there are some of them are types of work. Uh, if you go to the resource type uh, uh, page in admin, you will see. Okay, yeah, I'll go back so there. Go to. Yeah, then, the, uh, oops. Yeah, go to economic resource types. Okay. okay. Yeah, there we go. Okay, and then you. you can look at categories over at the si over on the side there. Okay. Oh, okay. So, so we do have categories. Uh, yeah. Category. Component, so design, that, equipment. Yeah. Type of work. Okay, I see it appearing here. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so those are the so if you select that in the filter, then you will get only the types of work. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, um, the uh, yeah, th those are the categories. Now, if you go back, if you go back to the to the uh, uh, admin menu again, then you can look up the categories. Um, oh, maybe. Oh, you know what? I didn't give you guys access to categories. Give me a sec here. No, no, I have. Okay. I, think I, I think I'm there. You, you are at categories. Let me see. I did. Give... Check it out. Yes. Okay, you got categories. Okay, good. I thought maybe I didn't hit, forgotten to give you access to those. Okay, so you have. Uh, so you can add more categories. Yeah. Here. You can change those categories. Uh I think I can just uh, delete and yeah. export. Can we add? Uh, you can add. Yeah. Now, it, the, 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 this is just the beginning of the oh, category. I'm curious. Yeah, okay. this is just the beginning of categories. All right. Right now, they are only used to classify economic resource types. Okay. Uh, and for right now, don't change the name of type of work. Because okay. 
because because I cheated and I just used that name in a bunch of different places to uh, to uh, 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 figure out what forms to use and things like that. So I I, I need to do some redesign on categories to refine the the system, and I need to talk to Lynn about that and talk to you guys about that. And we figure out everything that we want, you know. Maybe not everything we want to do with the categories, but some ideas about what we want to do with those categories. This is just a start. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So, at any rate, now, uh, uh, okay. So the next thing that I want you to do is go to the uh, uh, go to the the uh, change the recipe. F the 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 pay the recipes page you know where go to the resource uh, types page if you don't have it up right um, yeah go to resource types right and then pick something where you've got like the, where you've got a recipe don't no don't no not change mirror the recipe there's a button there that says change the recipe all right right yeah yeah okay now do we have any do we have any oops Lost the, uh, lost our. Oh, oh, I see. Okay, so, Tibby, let me get that. Select that. Okay. Do we have any types of work listed there? We do not. Let's go back and find something where there are types of work. Um, I think you can go. You can certainly go with a joint type transducer. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You can see there's a type of work down there. Uh, uh, electronics work, mm -hmm. and and you've got Yasin listed. Okay, All so right. click click the change button, not him. The 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 input up above the next no up down. You see where it says input consumes electronic work. Right. Yeah. There's a ch no up there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Now, change electronics work to some other kind of work that you know that there's bunches of people have been doing. Okay, experimental work. Okay, and then save the changes. Okay, now scroll down. Do we have experimental work? Tibby is the only person we've got doing listed as doing experimental work in in those um, uh, all right here source provided by TB yeah okay here. try something else where you've got more people and and you know to the go, no not that one the that one yeah yeah you're changing the the specification of what you need you're not changing the person okay okay uh, so some some kind of work where there's meeting Oh, okay. There you go. Yeah, there's a lot of people doing meetings. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. Now you can scroll down and you can see. Yeah, there you go. Okay. So, so, okay. So now what I want you to think about here is what we're specifying in the recipe where it says that input consumes uh, some hours of meeting or whatever type of work it is, is in the recipes you can specify what types of work you need to do this and you can specify them in any level of detail that you want you know you could say electronics work you could say a particular type of electronics work you could say uh, uh, um, it requires some level of skill in chemicals you know uh, um, uh, uh, y y you know uh, um, um, uh, you need to know how to use a cleaver. It, uh, I, you know, I don't know. You, you know, you guys know like what level of detail is, makes sense to to specify this stuff, and you might have to work with it for a while to see. You know, like okay, okay, how how specific do we want to make this versus you know, okay, uh, um, anything. You know, and what you will see here then is you will see the people who have logged time doing that type of work or we can allow people to sign up and say okay I would like to do this type of work and they will show up there and they will have no score yet uh, and 
okay, what we can do with this then is when this these recipes are going to be used to generate schedules for tasks to be done. And when those tasks to be done come up on the schedule, uh, a variety of things can happen. One is uh, uh, anybody looking at it can say, oh, who could possibly do that? Uh, also, the system could send emails to the people who have been listed as providing or either providing that type of work or have signed up to do that type of work. Um, uh, it, it, you, you know, or, uh, uh, and um, um, you, you know, or they can look at it and say, well, you know, I see all these guys doing that stuff and I signed up and I don't have any score yet. I better do some, you know. So, so uh, it, this doesn't this does not necessarily prevent anybody else from saying, you know, from taking that task when it appears on the schedule for committing to do that. Uh, uh, but b y you know, you might also you might also want to look if somebody commits to that task and they've never done it before. Uh, um, you know, either maybe they need some training, or maybe you want to ask them a couple of questions about it. You know, it's sort of, it's sort of like th there's some levels. There's different levels of visibility here, and there's also different levels of how the system can interact with uh, the people who have who might be able to perform that task when it comes up. Is that all clear? Yeah. Right. Okay. So now you got to think about it. You know, like what level of, what level of, at what, you know, what level of detail do you want to specify this stuff? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hmm. So, okay. Um, I would like to write some stuff down here. Um, well, let yeah. me uh, share that's the, this. That's that's the tour of what I did. Okay. In in general. You know, okay. you will run into other little. It, it there was there's a lot of stuff behind the scenes that was done to make this all work, mm -hmm. but uh, uh, and and there's more to do. You know, I listed in my email. There's some stuff I need to continue to do to work on with this stuff. You know, I got it out there so you can look at it and start thinking about it. But uh, uh, there's there's I need I need to do some refining, and you guys will probably run into things. You know that you say, well, you know, hey. That's a little. Uh, 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 th that's a little awkward, or it doesn't make sense, or whatever. So, so uh, uh, please, you know, um, continue to play with this stuff. You know, be aware also that this is a play environment. You know, you, you know, you know, this is not affecting anything in the real world yet. So you can set up stuff that that you just want to do as an experiment and look at and talk about. All right? Mm -hmm. uh, Bob, okay, uh, so just to fix the these ideas um, mm -hmm. and to give you something already, I am a economic resource type, okay, and I see, uh, is there a category like labor or manual? Uh, okay, these are, these, are, these are the things we log. Okay, these are the work type. Yeah, type, yeah, well, the, the, the economic resource types that I have in there are, uh, are type of work, uh, component, product, um, uh, equipment, uh, and then I have something, I, there might be some others, and I have something that's just called, the, you know, that there's some stuff I added for that overview uh, diagram, you know, that, that will go away at some point. Okay, so the type of work, it's basically labor, right? It's that type of resource. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, when yeah, we... a type of, yeah, a type of labor. Okay, type of labor. So, okay, I understand. Um, so, Francois, let's, uh, let's um, try to, well, we can decide for everybody, but, but since, since we're here, the most active ones designing the infrastructure, we can actually make some provisional decisions here. Uh, who can, who can, um, who can submit a task? Anybody? Uh, the person that is logged for a project. Who, who can submit a task or something? I I don't. I, are you talking about? I I'm I'm not sure that. Uh, I'm not sure I understand what you're talking about there. You're talking about submitting a task as a type of work. 
So, okay, so in the recipe, for example, okay, you have yeah. how things are done. Um, yeah. uh, that is just a structure, right? Uh, as as uh, yes. Francois did in the demonstration, he chose meetings, and basically, by choosing meetings, you choose a category, and you see a bunch of people there that are eligible, okay, to uh, this kind of uh, type of work, right? Right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, okay. meeting actually doesn't make any sense there. You just pick that because you oh, yeah, have a lot example. of people. Yeah, yes, it's just an example. So it's, it's a category. Yeah. Remember, we, we exchange that in, in email. Uh, so instead of picking one particular person, you pick a category. And now, uh, let's say someone is doing, is working with the recipe, uh, and, and there is a recipe already there for uh, the joint type transducer. And now the person wants to uh, make some, okay? And and so he has to he has to basically uh, signal or uh, how would you say that uh, he has to uh, uh, invite. Well, he has to invite people to do stuff, right? So uh, now when it comes to labor, you know, he looks in in the list and he chooses uh, the person that that can do that. Well, my question is, who can? Who can actually um, emit tasks? Who can you know uh, broadcast or mm. publish uh, tasks? Send the send the invitations. You mean? Yeah, because that's well, also uh, an issue uh, that you know that that kind of uh, signaling can be abused, and somebody could add noise to the system by just uh, you know emitting these requirements and tasks. You know what I'm saying? So, um, should we put some? Uh, uh, sh should we put some some specifications there? You know, a person that is working on that project can do that, or we just leave it for free now and see what problems we'll we will have in the future. Well, there's okay. there's yeah, there's a couple yeah, there's a couple of of uh, possibilities here. Um, one is that that if you have a if you have you can do this on a uh, on a on a uh, uh, I'm gonna. Th there's a bunch of different flows that go through a value network, or 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 you know, uh, and they go in different directions. So okay. you're gonna have you're gonna have what we call a demand flow coming from uh, 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 somebody that wants something. You know, mm -hmm. that wants wants you. Let, let's say let's say you have somebody that wants a joint type transducer. Okay. Okay. So in in so they will signal to the system, and we don't have that yet. They will signal to the system, you know, and this may be a customer, or this may be some internal somebody internally. Okay, I want three joint type transducers by X time, you know, next week Thursday. Mm -hmm. All right. So that when you when you when the system receives that. Request, uh, it will generate a process for creating three joint type transducers, okay. and it will also generate requirements for all of the inputs for the lever, for the mirror, for everything else that's required, including the uh, in including the the types of work that are required. Mm -hmm. And so all of those then go up on the schedule. Okay. So the schedule will, will be will be uh, uh, presented on the timeline and will also be presented on a Gantt chart. And so you will see all these things. Okay, we need somebody to uh, do this particular type of work to make a mirror, make mirrors for these joint type transducers. And okay. the joint type transducers are due next Thursday, and the mirrors have to be done. By Monday, magnifico. Yeah, or whatever. Yeah, or whenever. Or last week. Yeah, or whatever. You know. Okay. So, so at that point, then a bunch of different things can happen, and and you have to decide. You know, at some point, what do you want to have happen in in what level of detail? Uh, and that's that is uh, the system can send emails to all the people that are listed as having. Is is either having done or having signed up to want to do that type of work, all right? Or uh, that 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 those tasks will be listed on the schedule and they will be listed as unassigned, 
and somebody can take that task in which, okay, they are now assigned to that, you know, regardless of whether they've ever done this in the past, you know, and then you have to ask questions about how much you want that, how much you want that to be constrained. You know, there's all these kinds of situations, you know, you're, yes. you're going to have questions of it. How much do you want to have it be constrained or how much you want to have it be freeform? So, so at some point, so so basically, what somebody's going to say, somebody's going to say, I want some of these. You know, I want levers, I want joint type transducers, and at whatever level they do that, then the system will generate all the tasks required to do that. So you don't have to go and say to you know and put those tasks into the schedule. They're there. They happen automatically. Okay. 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 I understand. That. Okay. That's now, great. You can also. Yeah, you can also go in and and just say that I don't have any demand for this, you know, but but I want to create I want to make a joint type transducer just for my own purposes and so then that's like a type of internal demand and again, all you have to do is put in I want a joint type transducer by x time and all the stuff that is required to make that will go on the schedule. Now, this is a quest this is a this is a process. This is that 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 whole dependent demand algorithm that 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 I sent you a, a link to a description of. And so it basically takes and explodes the recipe and 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 figures out what are all the requirements and back schedules from the due date. <laughs> you know, okay, when does this have to be done? And then it will look and it will see is uh, in terms of materials, do I have any of this stuff in inventory? Yeah. Maybe I already have some mirrors around it. We don't have to make those. We'll just use them. Or that would say like, okay, okay, we're 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 out of. We're going to be we're 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 out of optical fiber. We need to buy some more. You know, uh, um, and then. And then, what's the lead time for optical fiber? Okay, we can't do that by next Thursday because we have to, you know, we got a week lead time for the optical fiber. Forget it, you know. So there's all kinds of things that that happen in that, it, you know, it's a complicated algorithm. You know, I mean, it it it, it is and it isn't. You know, you, you know, you can understand it. I've written it from scratch several times. You know, mm -hmm. but. But it's it's it, it, but but what it is is it's 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 recursive and fractal again. You know, it's like this this little bit of code and it, and it just it just walks through this long this this structure doing the same thing at every level. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. You, you know you know wow. uh, back schedule and explode. Uh, 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 net out whatever you already got on, in inventory, you know, and then and then just keep going. Mm -hmm. So 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 it's a it's a you know there are books written about this algorithm, many of them, mm -hmm. but but basically it's a really well known thing. Okay. Okay. So you you're gonna use this algorithm? Yes. Okay. Because yeah. sorry, I didn't uh, I didn't have a look at it, but I don't think I need to. Just you trust you. you <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't need to. Like, 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 like I say, that you can read whole books about this stuff. You know, it's not, it's not. You will, you will come to understand it because it will be working in the system. You know, and okay. at various <laughs> times, one of the things I want to do with this stuff uh, is. Yeah, Tibby has been asking about simulations of various things. So I'm going to do a bunch of different simulations, you know, where in this system where you can see how the various algorithms work. You can sort of like watch them happen. You know, mm -hmm. we can, in, other, in other words, we can run it step by step and animate the steps, and you can see, okay, this is what's going on here. I want to do this for me. I want to do this so that people can understand what's happening. You know, it's part of the part of the the object of transparency. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, so but plus it's useful. You know, it's useful to you know one of the things uh, Tibby you were asking about. Okay, now we can have these different processes. Well, how do we tell people can fork the processes and figure out a different recipe, a different way to do things like that? How do we figure out what's the best? You know, well. You know, there's a variety of ways to do this, but one of the ways that you can do, you know, is you can simulate it and you can see, okay, what would happen if we use this recipe? Well, 
Okay, and then let's see how we do that. Well, the other one's going to take about three weeks longer than this first one. You know, maybe we want to use the first one. <laughs> yeah, so that's the optimization, optimization of, uh, how do you say, uh, of manufacturing processes and you know, Flows. Yeah, optimization of the, yeah, yeah. the supply chain or... Yeah, yeah. Now I, I, I want you to be, be be realistic about optimization. Uh, mm -hmm. um, um, optimization is a double-edged sword. There was a guy uh, who was who 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 uh, did a manufacturing scheduling optimization system. Uh, his name was Ellie Goldratt, and he's still around someplace. And he's a very smart guy, and he did the system, and it was put into. Uh, um, one of the uh, manufacturing plants that I worked with uh, tried it. Um, and it's the the, word, the book uh, you wrote the book about that on the the goal. Yeah, the goal, and uh, yeah, you read a whole wrote a whole bunch of books. Okay, you, you know I met the guy. Okay. You know, he's just, he he's sure he's the smartest guy in the world. He probably is. However, uh, however, uh, um. um what happens with his algorithm, and, and I have actually implemented his, al his optimization algorithm, is that, yeah, it's pretty close to optimal. However, <coughs> it is, it is, the closer you get to optimal, the less stable is the result. So oh, yeah. that his, so, so that his algorithm would change the schedule of manufacturing processes radically every little change in any of the conditions of the si of the situation so you, you know so 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 you get another demand okay so all the schedule for everything changes so people um. would come in the next day and all of the change schedules had changed then they would come the next day they had all changed again you know we got setups you know we got <laughs> You know, does it? Does this is crazy? Get this guy out of here! You know, <laughs> so 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 there's a so we found an algorithm that was a lot simpler, that was not optimal but was good enough. It was okay. within. It was it was within. It was within a couple of hairs of optimal, but it did not change everything. All the time, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, right. it was a, it was a stable. It was it gave you a stable schedule unless something really, t you know, major changed. You know, for minor changes, mm -hmm. it would not mm -hmm. it would not flail everybody around and drive them crazy. Mm -hmm. So so there's so there's a there's there's a bunch of trade offs with with uh, optimal and uh, good enough. You know that. Usually, simple and good enough is better than optimal and complicated, and nobody can understand what's going on and crazy results. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, might be optimal, but it just drives you nuts. Yeah. Uh oh, my Google Chrome is crashing. Oh, but I can still hear you, Francois. Yeah, I can hear you, but. Uh, Maybe it's just oh, it's one page. So sometimes Google is Chrome, Chrome is pretty good at at uh, killing one page and not killing everything too. So you still out there, Francois? Okay. Yeah, I, I hear you. I can't. Oh, okay. okay. I can see All you right. again. All right. All right. Okay, oh. it's gone. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. So did did that answer your question about who can schedule tasks? Um, yeah, I think so. In other words, basically, basically, most of the time you will schedule tasks by saying, uh, by somebody will schedule tasks by saying, "I want something to happen. I want this these products or something like that." You will also be able to schedule tasks by saying, "Okay, let's have this meeting." Mm -hmm. You know, it's not in response to any customer demand or anything like that. But we just want to have a meeting, or we have these regular scheduled meetings, or um, uh, let's clean up the lab, or mm -hmm. you know, or or uh, somebody mm -hmm. order pizza, you know, whatever. Yeah. All right. And uh, okay, right. so but now my question of who can I meet a task? Uh, if you push this further to who can uh, who can uh, put into the system, uh, you know, who can emit a, a need for a deliverable or, or a product? 
Oh. Uh, um, you, you, you're going to have to decide that. You know, mm -hmm. it, it's it's um, we can um, the, the, at at this point, as long as you're logged in, you can do anything that is available to the. Um, to the you know, there's two parts of the system. There's the admin part, um, and there is the there is the operational part. The stuff that that where you know you know that, that the stuff that is ac access that is accessible from the uh, from the uh, 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 front page. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, the 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 you have to have special <clears throat> permissions to get to the admin part. Mm. All right, and. Uh, um, you have to have even more permissions to be a super user, which means that you can do. There's parts of the admin section that you will see. Um, uh, um, and if you're a super user, you will see a whole bunch more stuff that is completely confusing unless you know what you're doing. But if you do yeah. know what you're doing, you know it's like, it's it, you, you know, and and I could get into all the details of that too, and I can make you guys yeah. super users, and you can go nuts for a while. Because uh, 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 it's it's you know we're just playing around here right now anyway. But you don't want everybody to be a super user, and you don't want to have everybody necessarily have access to the admin part. You know, because you can you can you can make mistakes there. You know, you can you, you know it's it's cranky. It's uh, it requires really understanding what's going on. Yeah. Uh, you know you know you know, and that's where you would create new categories and. You know, so there's a whole bunch of things that then that, but but then then we get down to the to the to the other stuff. You know, where where you don't get access to the admin, but we get say, okay, so who can enter who can enter a demand for some products? You know, who can request that we make these three transducers? Yeah, and we, we don't have to solve this uh, now. Uh, what I'm looking after here. Is just a, a few scenarios that I that I can brainstorm with Francois, and and in order to identify some architecture uh, choices that you might want to make, mm -hmm. and I kind of have something in my mind here, some possibilities. Uh, mm -hmm. One of them is you know to create a sort of uh, different casts of user. Let's say okay, so uh, you know only certain users can uh, that have some experience uh, within a project, not not throughout Sensorica, but that that's project specific. Let's say so within a certain project, only certain users can say, you know, uh, I'm gonna ask for, <clears throat> you know, this deliverable. Okay, I'm gonna put that yeah. demand or need into the system. Or yeah. uh, we might want to have different categories of, uh, you know, of um, uh, needs, demands that that different users can ask. You know, so there are. Ones maybe that are, that are uh, you know very resource intensive, let's say, and they're recognized as such by the system. So these ones require more responsibility. So once you do uh, you know launch a task like that, uh, well, there's a bunch of resources that can be allocated, and that is a cost, you know, a real cost for for yep. the community, let's say. So you need people that are more um, you know more reliable, more uh, thought out, you know, people that. Uh, have a justification for for this kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, more responsible right. uh, members, and then you have tasks that 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 are just playing around with uh, you know uh, trying to figure out how transducers work, or you know tasks that don't necessarily require a lot of resources uh, to be reserved. Okay, from the community, or use a lot of the commons. Let's say so. These tasks are so. Do we? Create uh, you know divisions among the tasks. Do we create divisions among the members? Uh, is it a play of the two? Is there something else that we could do? And I think that's you know it goes well, to these, the architecture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are will all be design issues. Uh, there's two yeah. things that you, there's two things that you want to think of. I think one is we will have this this history of what people have done. Okay. Uh, and it will build up, you know, like their how many how many hours they have logged doing a particular task. You know, we can add more things to that, to to you know you know you know it's sort of like their score for doing a certain type of work. That's something that the system is going to know, and we can add more factors to that, and we can add you know any of the value equation factors into that. You can get, you know, so you can, so 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 then then so then you can decide for 
certain types of work, you know, what use do you want to make of those scores? Do you want to have, do you want to have like here's a, here's something in, in the recipe? Do you want to require a certain score, you know, for people to take this task? You know, there's like emitting tasks. Mm -hmm. There's also taking tasks for committing to doing tasks. Um, there's and then there's there's also there's also we're going to have to have a structure of permissions. You know, it's like this is like what people can do and can't do in the system, and so you have to think about like what how do you want to have. Um, you know, there's there's between guests who people who are not logged in. You know that you want to have guests be able to see certain things. You may not want to have guests make very many changes except maybe send requests for you know like let's you know like okay let's talk. I want to join Sensorica. Uh, um, uh, I want to buy one of your products. <laughs> you know whatever. There's a bunch of things that you want guests to be able to do. And then, then there's anybody that's logged in. You know, you know their identity now. So, so then, okay. So, and but then there's beyond that. You know, there's there's there there. You you, you know you may have, you may have a variety of, of, of uh, 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 ways that you want to limit. You know, the permissions that somebody has in the system, what they can and can't do in the system. And that's that's beyond what you know. That's possibly different from what they can do in the real world. You know, you know they um, you, you know they they might actually be able to do this type of work in the real world, but maybe you want them not to be able to tell the system that they can do it because you want to have they've never done it before. So they may you may want to have you want may want to have them talk to somebody, you know. That is part of the project. So to convince that person that they know how to do it, and then they get then they get to commit to do it, you know, or something like that, you know. So so there's going to have to be a, that you, you know, I, you're going to need some structure of permissions in there. So you have to think about, you know, what 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 kind of permissions do we need? Who gets to do what? And and needless to say, you will do this once, and then you know, will be uh, all too rigid or it'll be too loose or, you know, something will be wrong with it and then it will have to change. Mm -hmm. Right. We'll see. Um, also, we'll have to n maybe invite people to join a project based on incentives. Uh, so, for example, if a salesman uh, promise something to a client, he may invite people to to build the transducer he already sold. So here he can show the return on investment to get people involved. So in this case it's the, the incentive is clear and I guess people will, uh, will follow. Uh, in other cases when the incentive is not clear. Uh, to recruit people you will have to show something else but I don't know what and in the case in the first case the incentive I it, it would be good to have um, sort of automated way to show people what they they will have in return so it's it would be connected to the valuation equation yep. with forecasts yeah yeah that would be very, that would be uh, that would be really useful I can see that okay we, we do have a category uh, <clears throat> when we you know when I uh, if you look at the layout of the infrastructure there is a category there there is a module that I call the incentive system mm -hmm. uh, which is a broad general category that I just put there and the incentive system you know I describe it as an active system which means that uh, you know, it, it, it decorates your environment, the user's environment, with different incentives. So mm -hmm. uh, that system can be sort of a, uh, how do you say, uh, uh, it should, could, could interface with, with the uh, recipe, uh, you know, with, with the recipe system. So the recipe can have a request, you know, from uh, the incentive system and, and, and then get some data to attach, to attach to a task, for example, okay? 
Mm-hmm. Sure, um, sure. So let's say you have oh. a customer, and this product is sold by that much. You know, so when you send the email to distribute that task, for example, uh, then yeah. you you can have also uh, that little piece of data there that is the incentive. You know, you know, which yeah. in this case could be a tangible. Uh, you know, but you can have a whole list of incentives. Let's say you say, you know, here are the uh, intrinsic, uh, or no, here is the extrinsic, uh, you know, incentives, which is a reward, money. Okay, uh, this mm-hmm. product will, will be sold by this much. This is the margin. This is how it's gonna be redistributed. Uh, and then you can say, oh, it is a product. It is, you know, you go into intrinsic incentives like this is a product that will be used in in the um, healthcare system. So it's gonna be used for research, for heart disease, and so on and so mm-hmm. on. Sure. You see, but but these pieces of data are so, sort of emitted by what I call the incentive system, okay, which which is something that only deals with incentives, okay. Did you did you you said you had written something about an incentive system? Can you send me the link to that, please? Yes, yes. I could probably find it, but it's a lot easier. Yeah, yeah sure. All right. Yeah, cause yeah, yeah, I'm I'm with it. Yeah, it'll be good. Yeah, here you go. We, so. we need the the other thing. The other thing I think that that we want to have in here is um, a um, there are requests for products or ideas for products or ideas for uses of products that you have already received that you don't yet. Um, you, the, you don't yet make or possibly even know how to make uh, um, and right. those those should go into the system somewhere you know where people can organize to do those you know okay we can we need to make a recipe for how we do this we might have to do some experiments to figure out how to do this you know mm-hmm. Yeah, incentive okay. for R and D, uh, early R and D also. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I got the incentive system. All right. Um. Okay, so is this is this stuff coming together better for you guys now? You understand where I'm going with it, all this mm-hmm. nonsense? All right. Uh-huh. Good. <laughs> all right. All right. All right, good. Nonsense. Good. Yeah, it's fun, you know. <laughs> okay, so um, uh, anything, anything else? Uh, th- that's that's that that's it. That was my on my agenda for today. I still got a bunch of work to do on this, but uh, oh, and I did want to tell you that uh, Lynn and I are on the road tomorrow. Uh, we're going to the Chicago area for a whole bunch of family stuff. Mm-hmm. And we will be there. Uh, we will be there until we'll be coming back on the 24th. Uh, I will have email access. I will be working while I'm there. You know, so so um, 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 I will have my uh, cell phone with me. Uh, you, you know, I think I've given you my both my home and and mobile phone numbers somewhere. If I haven't, uh, uh, I'll do it again. Um, uh, maybe I'll put I'll put them in my profile in in your spreadsheets. Okay. You know, so you guys. So you guys, but 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 I will be. You know, like I say, on the road tomorrow. Uh, you know, in the car traveling. And then tra- travel day on the 23rd, 24th. I'm not exactly the rest of the stu- time. Uh, we will be staying at uh, Lynn's mom's place. She's okay. uh, she's uh, uh, 90 years old and uh, uh, nice. Uh, <laughs> is uh, she um, deserve a visit? Was 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 it? A, oh yeah, we got to visit her, and then my son's there, and he's going to be playing. He's a musician. He's going to be playing some gigs, and so we'll go to there on Thanksgiving. And Lynn's daughter Leah is coming back from. She's been working in South Sudan, and uh, so she's coming back for a visit. And uh, you know, so it's a, uh, lots of family activities, lots of fun. But I also I will also uh, be working. Uh, uh, on the software and will be available for uh, uh, conversations and so on. All right. 
Yeah, but don't work too much. Enjoy the family because. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, we, yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we will, we will enjoy them. But, uh, but I get up before everybody else, so. Okay. Um, you know, they're all sleeping, and I can do stuff. Yeah, I, I just have a, another question. It's not a burning task at all, but I just want to know. Uh, we still log our um, time on the spreadsheet, on the, the form, the Google form. Um, yes. Is there a particular reason why we don't migrate to the, um, the value accounting prototype? Uh, because the value accounting prototype is not stable enough yet. Okay. Um, we, we, I will be making lots of changes to the database, uh, the data model. Um, I will, you, you know, like this last time what I did is I blew, I had imported the, the time contributions before and I just deleted them all and I re-imported them, you know, so they're, they're, they're a little fresher, but I imported them in a different way, you know, we don't have, there's no roles in the system yeah. yet, they became something else, you know, so, yeah. so, so, um, while the database is changing and while things are unstable, uh, um, it, it, it's not reliable enough to be a system of record. Okay. You know, you know, you can't count on it for to get your your income distributions to the right people. <laughs> yes. Uh, there are also a whole bunch of other issues yet about uh, contributions that we haven't even gotten into. For example. Um, lots of times when people log their time or their financial contributions, they also, uh, in the description, in this blob of text, say that, oh, by the way, while I was doing this, I created several resources, you know, which I'm just vaguely going to tell you about. But they actually exist in the lab and they're going to be used, you know. And so at some point you got to figure out, okay, now how do you want to, uh, how do you want to inventory resources that are uh, used in the lab you know those that are shareables those that are uh, um, those are they're in the commons but they're still used because when you're going through and doing the the dependent demand explosion you're going to get to the point where you say okay we need a cleaver well as a now we don't have a cleaver somebody has to go get a buy a cleaver okay mm -hmm. now they bought the you know, next week or something like that, they have purchased the cleaver. We have the cleaver. You know, so they, so they, so they, they logged a financial contribution. And they say, oh, by the way, in the text, you know, in this blob of text, uh, 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 I bought this cleaver. And so, but really, what you want to do for the dependent demand explosion, you want to know that this is actually a resource that we can use now. So we don't have to go get another one. We got it. You know, the same way with materials. Yeah. So, so there's a lot of cases where people are now entering stuff in these blobs of text that they have to be more specific about. Oh, yeah. And also, and also, as everybody knows, you know, you know, entering data is a pain. So, so mm -hmm. they won't like it. So we have to figure out how to do it so that it's least painful and still gets the job done. And there's all kinds of things like that that will be happening as far as entering contribution, logging contributions. Um, you know, and, 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 and uh, uh, the types of work may get refined. So, so we may have to go back through the old contributions and we may have to say, well, okay, uh, um, well, they said they were doing manual labor here, but really what they were doing was some highly skilled uh, 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 chemical process, you know, and they just logged it because they clicked on something, you know, or, or you know, they called right. it one thing and it was really, we now have refined that into three different skills, you know, and they did one of those skills, you know, or we can make, so, you know, so, and we have to have guesses about it. So there's a whole bunch of things that may have to mine this data, you know, that you guys, I mean, you guys got a lot of really good data, but in some cases it is um, not, specific enough or yeah. clear enough and so we have to m f make it sure. clear for the future when people log this and we have to also go back and 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 clean up some of the stuff that mm. is already out there
I, I'm all, sure. Yeah, I, I think we don't. Yeah, go ahead. I, I think we don't have to uh, clean it, or, or we might want to clean it just a little bit. But the one idea is to just to close it, uh, close it, and 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 have it processed with a certain value equation, and then say, okay, here's the pie chart, and everybody's happy with it. So let's move move forward to a new way of entering data into the system, and you know, reading stuff out. Uh, uh, we, because we can we can do all that. we can we can do all that. Those will all be choices. Yeah, well, I think it's it's impossible to go back one year, one year and a half, and uh, you know, figure out uh, what we did from a few lines of description. So right. we'll just make a decision which will be more loose, you know, like, hey guys, mm -hmm. we we know that we've been, you know, uh, not so clever uh, logging data, but this is part of the, the process. This is part of the learning process. Okay, sure, you define Absolutely. So you know that's what it is. This is the data what we, that we have. So let's let's just make a decision, okay, and mm -hmm. and build that pie chart. And that pie chart will will, will become uh, something that you use. You take into consideration, uh, you know, in the value accounting system. And then we start a new database. And I think this is always going to change. Uh, you know, it's. Uh, I don't think we have it now. Uh, it's probably still going to change for one year or two years or, you know. We can we we can uh, we can certainly uh, you know there'll be lots of choices to be made. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And on uh, how to, on how to do all that stuff. I also have a question. So how did you uh, you know when we log uh, contributions uh, because of the uh, restrictions that we have with Google Forms, we mm -hmm. put in in you know we choose different uh, now what you call uh, work types okay or mm -hmm. types of work. Uh, no. So we ch we choose a bunch of them, uh, for example, and then um, myself, you know what I do? I add in the description, you know, I did two hours of this, uh, three hours of that, you know, that all add up to a certain amount of time. How did you do when you did the uh, the fresh uh, import of the data? How did you um, separate the uh, the the different um, um, work types from? Uh, I well, uh, you, you um. Really stupidly, okay. So if you had three different roles, yeah. I would take whatever time that you entered and I would divide it by three, and I exactly. would sign. Yeah, okay. yeah. I would sign like if it was an hour and a half. I would sign a half hour to each of those roles. Yeah, that's if what I did had, also. Mm -hmm. Now, if you had multiple projects, also I would just skip that entry. I said I, I have no idea what to do with this, and so I just didn't import it at all. All right. So okay. you will find. So there's a bunch of things. These, you know, so that what I, what this is all me working through your data and getting some stuff up for you to look at. So yeah, it's yeah. not complete. It is not necessarily accurate. You know, <laughs> it's but but it but it is derived from your from your logs. You know, but like yeah. I say, if there were if if there's multiple projects, I didn't know what to do with it. I mm -hmm. you know I so I just skipped that one. Okay. All right. So what we're gonna do? Maybe we're gonna do some changes. You know, uh, whenever there is enough details, maybe we can uh, blow up one contribution. Let's say into three. If there is three projects, we can, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. uh, instead of one yeah. contribution, just copy it and, and and make three contributions, so that it yeah. becomes easier for you to to upload it. Or and we can do the same for the tasks. You know. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, I I think in in many of those cases. Um, it would be possible to uh, set up some sort of a rule. So that, I mean, and I'm not entering this stuff by hand. I'm just taking the spreadsheet and I'm running it through a script, you know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and blammo, it comes out the results. And so, uh, and, and so that script could be made smarter, yeah. you know. Yeah. And, you know, we say it, it, it's never going to be. It's never going to be actually 100 percent, you know. Uh, uh, it could get better, you know. We could say, okay, if they said something, you know, you, you know, so they said certain things in the description, and we we'll say, okay, that's actually, you know, this is what they did, or yeah, or 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 we can go through and we could say that stuff, and we could we could we could 
separate out those things that are questionable, which is not the not the not everything. You know, okay, here are the questionable records. Some, you know, here are your questionable records, Tibby. Here's yours, Francois. Here's Jonathan's. Go through your questionable records and straighten them out. You know, yeah. it, otherwise, yeah. otherwise we will use this stupid algorithm. You know, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So, so I mean, there's a lot of choices. This is a this is a very common thing. You know, it's like um, cleaning up old data. You know, people. But what, what is it? Okay. What is interesting uh, we, here? We, yeah. Oh, I was just saying that that uh, we have a friend in one of the local, uh, in one of the nearby towns, who makes her living doing this, cleaning up old data. You know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a job. Yeah. People pay you for it. But I, I think at least this exercise, you know, will show us uh, how to do it better, and, and this is the lesson, uh, and I think it's good. And yep. then the way we'll uh, the way we'll deal with it, it's going to be, you know, Bob, give us just something to to look at as an indicator, uh, yep. and then because we know each other and the network is small, we kind of have a yep. good idea about how everybody should be, uh, uh, you know, uh, retributed. Yes. So yeah. the first round of sharing, you know, we're gonna look into the data, into the data, and 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 have some indications, and then we'll just uh, uh, do some subjective, you know, uh, approximation or you know, subjective, uh, how do you say, uh, estimation mm -hmm. of of everyone's, you know, we play with that pie and say it doesn't make sense that this guy doesn't have this much because he actually yeah. did real work or you know. So that's going to be the first round. It's it's going to be very friendly and more informal, uh, mm -hmm. based on on some indication yep. of that, yep. that we can extract from the log. And then we close that thing yep. and move on to uh, you know something else, which it's better implemented based on the lessons that we learn. You know the limitations that we uh, yeah we saw. yeah oh, yep. that will all that we don't have work. to waste some we don't have to waste our time you know to uh, to untangle that data. You know what I'm saying. Uh, I think it's better if we use our energy into building the new stuff properly, you know, than well, uh, it, yeah. breaking at our this, heads with the old stuff. At this moment, however, I'm learning a lot from the old data. It helps mm -hmm. me get my mind into your processes and what you're doing or what everybody else is doing. So it's very useful for me in designing the system, you know. Mm -hmm. it gives me clues. Nice. All right. Okay. Good well, for me. What what can we do now, Bob? Uh, can you give us some homework? Uh... Uh, um, keep, keep working. Yeah, yeah. I want you to think about uh, um, refining types of work for different processes. I mean, go through the through the recipes and try to figure out. Okay, what is what what would be what would make sense? You know, how specific do we want this to be? Uh, uh, you know, change some so, some of these things. You know, so we can so we can. Uh, uh, um, you, you can also make more than one process for the same process type for the same. You know, you can create a whole different. You, you know, kind of fork? recipe. Yeah, it will be. It's that might. Be, I haven't tried that yet. I think it'll work. <laughs> you know, okay. so. But if it won't, we'll figure it out. But uh, okay. but um, um, at any at any rate, change things. You know, uh, um, tr think about what makes sense uh, f for for um, uh, for that. And also, as you're doing that, you know, you know, anything that breaks, let me know. Um, uh, a anything that seems awkward or should change. I already got a bunch of notes to myself about things that I want to change, you know, and, and uh, you know, I just didn't get to in time or didn't see, you know, I started looking through that stuff again this morning. I said, oh, that doesn't make sense, you know, and so. Uh, so, Francois, that, um, that means, uh, you know, if we take, uh, let's say, for example, optical fiber coding, uh, the next time you do it, we have our notes, we have our uh, Google Docs so to go in there and basically uh, build a recipe for that with all the details. So this is what Bob is asking us, you know. Uh, and as right. you do it, as you do it, you see the limitations and, and you write your notes and we send that to Bob. And when uh -huh. I do some uh, fabrication of something, you know, when I do the transducers, same thing, I'll go back to the recipe and try to add as much information. So 
basically we have to keep in mind now we know how this thing will be used in the future. Uh, you know, you can make a request like uh, make a uh, transducer and then the system should give us all the processes. Uh, so yep. I think we have to be aware of the end goal of this system and uh, and see how easy it is to put data in and to get uh, to get the proper answer to the uh, to the questions that uh, the system might yeah. might, uh, might yeah. take. Yeah. Now, and then the other thing and I don't you know, I don't think you have to put tons of time into that. So the, 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 Yeah, you need to do that. Hello? Hello, John. Ah, it's Jonathan. Okay. <clears throat> He's probably uh... uh no, no, it's Friday. I need to work. Okay. Okay. While while Francois is, is uh, dealing with that, oh, yeah. the the other question uh, that I want you to think about is, um, what should I be doing next? What should I be developing next? In other words, I have a few things on my list already to clean up from this last round, but then, um, then, uh, uh, for example, one of the things that I'm thinking I sh could do next is um, to, is start on the dependent demand explosion. In other words, have the, have somewhere where you can enter uh, uh, requirements, you know, either internal or external for products, and then start exploding the schedule through and start getting stuff up on the timeline and. Uh, uh, start working on a Gantt chart. So those, you know, in other words, that those would be in the line of project and materials management, mm -hmm. uh, which you had indicated was probably a priority. Uh, I, or I could do something else next. You know, and in, 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 in a, it, 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 you know, it's like. Um, I think that would make sense myself. You know, but but I don't care. So think about what I, sh you know, I have, like I say, I have some cleanup to, to be done that will take me a couple of days, and then, and then I want to start s working on what comes next. Yeah, so, I, think the, yeah. I think there is two. Uh, I think there is there is. I see I see here two branches that uh, uh, we could advance. Uh, you know, uh, almost uh, uh, well, not simultaneously, but you know, uh, almost at the same time. Uh, the one one branch is uh, like you say, you know, uh, working on recipes, and uh, it's basically helping, helping, uh, you know, internal processes and manufacturing. And the other one is the value equation and the sharing, okay, of of, uh, of revenue. And every time we uh, talk to people about the value accounting system or the infrastructure of value networks, you know, these are the two main things they they really like. You know, a system mm -hmm. that could help you. Uh, do stuff uh, that assist yep. everybody, you know, to in in the manufacturing, uh, you know, the supply chain, manufacturing, distribution. Um, okay. That is, you know, the all the internal logistics. Uh, people are interested in that, uh, and also people are interested in, uh, you know, how do you decide to uh, redistribute uh, revenue. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's also. Yep. So uh, I think these two, if and and for us too, these are important. Uh, but also, they're also important for other people out there. Uh, so. The more advanced these two are, the more uh, value people see in the value accounting system. Uh, and well, I, I, you know, I keep on calling it value accounting system. And it's more, much more than that. Um, in this infrastructure thing, so um, you know, we can get more help building it. Uh, you know, if we, um, if people see the value, um, you know, if, so to bring these two to a, to a place where we can actually show something, show something uh, working. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Okay. Uh, uh, um, I, um, what would you think would be next? The, and you don't have to tell me right now, but think about it. You know, it's like it's. I know what to do next. I think on the uh, uh, dependent demand project management schedules. I can work my way through that because I've done that a million times before. I know how to do that. Okay. The value equations and sharing. Okay. You know, think about. What would be the next steps for that? You know, we get this one sort of like little fake v value equation that's out there on the page right now. Where should where should I go with the value equation and sharing next? So those you, you know that would be something to think about and uh, 
uh, uh, let me know. And then, and then, you know, like I say, sometime later this week, then uh, I'm going to actually start working on the next stage, the next steps, and we decide like which of those. Let's say if those are the next two directions: the project management, dependent demand, schedules, all that kind of stuff. Um, uh, material requirements uh, that would be that would be one path and then the other path would be the value equation and sharing you know like which of those paths should we actually do next all right mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay we'll think, about, think it. about it talk about it we can decide uh, uh, later this week okay. okay good okay yes Okay. Uh, in the meantime, uh, 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 everybody have fun. I will. And uh, uh, anything else we need to do right this minute? I don't know. Yeah, I, don't I think that's, that's fine for me. Okay. All right. Thanks, y'all. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Bob. Uh, okay. François? Uh, oui. Let me just...